for joining us. Greenville City leaders are working on solutions to fix the affordable housing problem. We were the only station there as about 25 community leaders met with a consultant hired by the city to go over the results of a survey taken. Over nearly 1,100 people involved in that survey. 7 News reporter Aaron Rogers has more on the next steps. Of That's what this committee on affordable housing in Greenville has been working on for months. And tonight at this meeting, they started on some solutions. We're continually losing uh, affordable housing that we have, so really pres preservation as a strategy. After hiring a consultant and releasing surveys to the community, they settled on the creation of a housing trust fund as the best option. It would be a nonprofit organization that would be established to receive the funding. That money would go to rental or owner occupied rehabilitation. The city would also be able to buy land specifically for affordable housing. It will remain affordable forever. The only issue with the survey is many people living in these changing communities say they didn't even know it existed. I don't recall that it was made available to my community. And we are on their email list for certain committees and so forth, but this one somehow didn't make it to me. The city says they're fixing that. We have heard from some communities that um, we may need to do some more work and get and make more surveys available, paper copies. Neighborhoods like Nickeltown or the West End are affected the most. The city says they have a growing number of people living in Greenville making less than $20,000 a year. But there are also more developers with their eye on Greenville. The downward pressure of, of, of folks at upper income levels. So now to fix the problems that created, City Council has to approve the funds from the budget surplus and put policies in place to make the recommendations happen. In Greenville, Aaron Rogers, 7 News. Now the city says that it has not yet set a date for a meeting where they will discuss the budget, but they would need a total of three million dollars from the city and the nonprofits combined to start on working on these recommendations.